Well, now I know how network reporters must feel when they bag an interview with the president. I've got to tell you about a little experience I had, folks, but it's nothing like getting the guy in the Oval Office. All I wanted was a little time with the big cheese of the Kansas City Chiefs, and I'm not talking about the owner. It took some time to land a one-on-one -on -one interview with General Manager Scott Pioli. I've been pestering him through the team's PR office since the draft way back in April. Out of nowhere, one day, Pioli had pulled up next to me at a stoplight near the plaza. I rolled down the window. I reminded him that I was still waiting to do the interview. He just smiled and drove on. Well, after three months of being told I was on the list, I finally landed the audience with Pioli at the Chiefs training camp in St. Joe. But not so fast here. There were still roadblocks to overcome. It took at least a half dozen, I'm not exaggerating, a half dozen phone calls from the PR man, Pete Morse, in the last four days to nail down a time and date. Pete then wanted to scope out the area a day before the interview. I'm still not sure why, but at this point, I didn't really care. I just wanted to do the interview and get it over with. I requested a couple of chairs, but was told that Pioli would rather stand. I then suggested to Pete that the interview might take a while, and that was a mistake on my part. He quickly informed me I would be allowed five minutes. That was it. He promised he would be there with a timepiece to enforce it. In the back of my mind, I thought, how ridiculous is this? Here is a team that has won only 10 games in the last three years, and I've spent the last three months trying to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with the general manager. Despite the hassles, I was determined to see it through, and I did. When it was all said and done, Scott Pioli was terrific. He was straightforward. He pulled no punches. I am convinced that the PR man, Pete Morris, who, by the way, is a very pleasant young man, and yeah, I've come to the conclusion now that he would probably be better suited working for some detective agency in town. I know this. Pioli should be proud of the way he is protected by his PR staff. Now... If they'll just expand that same type of energy, putting together a football team, we'll all be happy. That's Jack Smack.